Hi, everybody. It's Bob Bloom with Ted Thomas. And for those of you who have watched the first couple of videos, you know that Ted is going to talk to you about tax liens and tax deeds. For those of you who have, are just now tuning in for the first time, Ted, would you just give a quick little nutshell about what tax liens and tax deeds are? Okay. So, folks, we have a country of 3,000 counties, and the counties require you pay a property tax. So, half the counties sell a tax lien certificate. In other words, they slap your hand if you don't pay on time. So that's a half of them do that. The other half of the counties, if you don't pay, like if you're in California and you don't pay your tax, they can confiscate your property. So it's one or the other. And I basically turned that into something that you can do kind of a little side hustle, you might want to call it. It's something you can do part time. You can do this online. You can do it offline. And I'm going to show you all the details. And so Robert's put together some questions to ask. And we're going to give you the answers. All right. Well, good. Good. So you've been talking about, let's say, tax liens and tax lien certificates. So does the county just automatically send you a check? I mean, do you have to deal directly with the, uh, the, the taxpayer who didn't pay? Oh, yeah. Nobody wants to do that. Yeah. OK, good. Uh, the, the county does all of this. You don't have to do anything. So what you do is they will announce a tax auction on their website. And they might have, uh, if it's a live one, they'll say on the courthouse steps or a big hall at the uh, county courthouse. Come there and you can you raise your hand and buy it. And they'll have a long list. I'll, I'll show you a list right now. So this is an announcement. This is the announcement for Tampa, Florida. Okay. And there's 40,000 certificates on this one list. It's in the newspaper, 40,000. Wow. That's just one. And so you can go and every property has a number and you can pick out the ones you want to buy. And so... That's a tax lien. Now, tax deeds are much the same. So I'll use you, New York. Here's a, here's a brochure. Now, tax deeds, they actually sell the property. So this is Dutchess County. It's about an hour from New York City. And mm -hmm. this is a brochure. And they show you the pictures. And those are properties they're going to sell at auction because those people didn't pay their taxes. Wow. And so you can pick those out before you go. You can go look at them. You can drive around them. You, you can't go inside, but you get the idea. So yeah. You, so this auction had 113 properties. So, so that's a business. Uh, if we went to, uh, uh, if we decided to go down to Bear County and, uh, and, and San Antonio and place like that, we can, we can find whatever kind of property you have imaginable. Uh, big counties with a big population, they might have 200 properties. Uh, a huge population would be Los Angeles that have 2,000 properties. A little county like Topeka, Kansas, 30 or 40 properties is all they have. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, you know, I, I, some people may not want to have their money tied up for very long. What, so what would be the fastest state to get the resolution on, on either a tax lien or a tax deed? Okay, I would say uh, the fastest is going to be, that you can be assured is going to be Texas, because you buy a certificate today that starts a clock like on 60 minutes going tick, tick, tick like that. And when that mm -hmm. clock's going, they only have 180 days and they have to pay you or you get the property. 180 days, they pay you, or you get the property. It's wow. that fast. Okay. That's pretty darn fast. Yes, that's fast. Uh, six months. So is that a uh, is that a tax lien or is that a tax deed? Well, actually, it's a called a redeemable deed. All right. Okay. So anytime during that 180 days, the property owner, because they want to treat them fairly, the property owner can come in and buy their deed back, but they have to give you back all the money you invested plus 25%. So there's a powerful return. 25%. And do you get that 25% in six months? Six or is months. that a year? Yeah. No. Uh, if, if it goes another six months, like an agricultural property, we're getting a little sophisticated now. Agricultural property, they give them a whole year. So they go 25% for the first six months and then another 25%. Wow. So okay. you can make 25 You don't tell people that because they said, wait a minute, this is unbelievable. Yeah. I don't make the rules, but you can check the state statutes in the state and on the auction brochure in Texas, and they'll tell you the defaulted property owner pays 25% in the first 180 days. And then if they have uh, an exemption, let's call it that, I probably said the wrong thing. But anyway, another 180 days, it's another 25%. Wow. So you can make up to 50% in Texas. Yes. Wow. Exactly. But you, you make 25% in just six months. Six months. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's pretty powerful. So 
Would you say Texas is one of the best states in which to invest or Florida or? Oh, no, they're, they're, they're all good. Uh, I'll give you some examples here in a minute. Uh, um, all right. Uh, Illinois pays 36%. So if you raised your hand in Illinois, they sell tax certificate. They sell a piece of paper and that piece of paper earns 3% a month. Wow. Over a year, that's 36% on a tax lien certificate. So you're getting the idea. These are big, powerful certificates. And here's the challenge. When people don't pay their property tax, the county's in trouble. The county has to pay the school teachers, has to pay the sheriff's department, has to give some money to the hospital for the people who don't have money. It has to pay the school teachers. I mean, it's on and on. So you wouldn't have any police. You wouldn't have any fire department. You wouldn't have anything. So the county, they want their money now. So they're going to say, if you don't pay, you're going to pay a a penalty. They don't want to do this, but one or two percent of the people will default every year. Every year, I've only been at it 30 years. This system has been around for 200 years. I didn't invent it. This has been around for 200 years. I just learned it 30 years ago. And when I learned it, I said, boy, why wouldn't I want to do this for the rest of my life? And that's what I do. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's, uh, that's really powerful and very lucrative, it sounds right. like. Right. But do you, you know, I'm an attorney. Do you have to have an attorney to buy these or do you have to have a broker to buy these tax liens or tax deeds? This is made for the little guy. That's what it's made for. It's for the little guy around town to do that. Now, we're kind of sophisticated today because we, you know, everybody can, this was invented when people couldn't read and write. And so now people can read and write and they can use the internet and whatever. So some people, I have clients, well, I'll give you an example. I have clients that live in Wisconsin. Now, Wisconsin, the rules are different. In Wisconsin, the state just buys up all the bad properties. They're very socialistic in that particular state. But right next door is Michigan. So my client learned how to do it. And when they paid me all the money to learn how, I said, I got to give you money back. You can't do it in your state. Because I don't care. I'll go anywhere in the country. So what did he do? He isn't a wife. They went over to Michigan. All right. Now they looked up, the, looked up an auction. Okay. They got an auction brochure. They can do that online. All right. They went over there. Now they didn't buy a mansion. You know, there's no big curved driveway and pillars in the house and all that. They bought a little boxy house. It's not very pretty. Uh, we'll give you a picture of it in a minute. They paid $12,000 for this house. No, they paid $8,000. Paid $8,000 for this house. They went down, they looked at, we got to fix it up a little bit. So they spent another four or 6,000 fixing it up. Believe it or not, they sold it during the Christmas holidays. Now everybody said, you can't work at Christmas, right? They sold it in the Christmas holiday. They made, they got their money back and they made $37,000. In other words, they doubled their investment, tripled their investment. All right, so there's lots of little deals like that all over the United States. Now, if you have hundreds of thousand dollars, you want to go to the big auctions. If, there's, uh, if, if you've only got 25 or 50,000, or you got to, why not buy it in your, your, your IRA or something like that? Then you could buy that, then any profit you make, you wouldn't have to pay the profit on it. So the point is, there's, there's literally... 3,000 plus auctions every single year. I mean, it's just, there's just too much abundance. But let me show you this video because this couple is 65 plus, 65 plus. Watch this. My name is Robert Hagan, but everybody calls me Sonny. And this is my wife, Marsha. In September of 2019, uh, we took the Ted Thomas classes. In November, we won the Fraser Street House. December, we accepted an offer already. January, we closed on it. It's it's amazing about the signs. You know, we we didn't even think anything about this sign stuff, and it was brought to our attention by uh, Ted that you know this is this is a surefire way to get people's attention, and he's absolutely right. The lawyer cost us six hundred dollars to do the closing and set up the land contract that we sold it on. So altogether, uh, $11,557, uh, almost $12,000. Uh, the purchase price turned out to be $35,000 with a profit of 23,443. Once we plugged all this in, it came up with that his payments would be $411. Total interest then, the interest made on all the money that was in here, just the interest, it amounts to $15,995.51. So that's just the interest, that's just profit. Basically, we hold the note on the on the property, we're the bank. It was $23,443 profit on the sale. 
I am $15,995 uh, profit on the note. So all of our investment, which of course we've already gotten back, and the profit on the property and the profit on the note. So the total for just the profit part, not our investment, but the total profit part is $39,438. And I think for that $12,000, that's a pretty good deal. All right, now there you have it. They kind of stumbled their way through it. and Folks, they invested, they bought the house, they added a little bit to touch it up. You saw it wasn't a glamorous place. Then they sold it, they made $37,000. I don't know, I think that's a pretty good profit for me. Wow. Once or yeah. twice a year. Yeah, not bad. Not yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay. So if you buy a, a tax lien or tax deed and you actually get the property, or or let me put it another way. You know, I'm, I'm just concerned. What if I got a tax lien? Do I have to pay the utilities and the gas and electric and all that stuff while, while I've got this tax lien? Oh, when you have a tax lien... That's the beauty of this business. The people stay in the house. They don't kick them out. They're very benevolent. They say, okay. you got a tax lien, just stay right there. And when you recover, come in and pay us. 95, 97% of the people with a tax lien will come in and pay you. They'll give you back all your money, plus 16 or 18 or 24, or even 36%. So they're, they're, just, they're just going through a bad time. Maybe they didn't pay the insurance on the car and they got a dented fender. Maybe the son is in, in the hospital and the doctor says, well, it's $2,000 for me to do that procedure. They're going to certainly pay for that son to get the operation before they pay the tax. So the law recognizes that. So tax liens are very benevolent. They're not interested in throwing people out. They're interested. The county needs revenue. Got to pay the police. Got to pay the fire department. Got to pay the school teacher. Mm -hmm. County just wants revenue. That's all they want. So in other words... The, the homeowner who's still living in the house pays all the expenses, all the utilities, all the gas, right. electric, and right. you're, not, you're, you're not paying anything. You just paid their taxes and you're going to get a late fee, basically the interest rate on the tax lien. Is that right? It's, 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 like, getting, it's, like, buying a, uh, it's like buying a loan. You okay. gave them a loan and now they're going to pay you the loan with a high interest rate. Okay. Whereas the couple we just looked at, they got the house. Now, when you get the house, you own it, there's nobody in it. All right, you, you got the house. Then, of course, you're going to have to turn the heat on and the lights and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. But you're going to put in $10,000 and make $30,000. That's a hell of a profit. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's say somebody wants to go buy a tax lien at an auction. Can, can you use a credit card? I mean, how do you pay? Uh, <laughs> you know, this is so funny because that's a good question, all right? Uh, the tax, yes, you can in certain states uh, that will allow you to use a credit card. I actually bought a colonial house. And I know you don't believe this, but I'll show you the picture if you want to see it. I bought a colonial house in Orange County, New York. That was like 90 miles from New York City. I bought a colonial house and I bought it with credit cards. So I bought the house with credit cards. All right. In Michigan, Michigan has, I'm trying to remember the number now, but like 67 counties. And in the midsummer, they will have 67 auctions. You can buy every one of them on online and with a credit card. Wow, that's great. Sounds really convenient. I mean, sounds like you're just sitting at your computer and you know, enter, like you're buying off of Amazon. You know, that sounds about I, like that. I have people, and I won't have time to show them because we don't have enough time, but I have people that own six and eight properties. They bought with credit cards and they did it all online and they never left home. They live in Utah and they're buying over in Michigan. Wow. They never left home. Wow, nice. Nice. I, I know a lot of people will like that aspect. I certainly yeah, will. Exactly. But, you know, okay, so let's say somebody's really skeptical and they say, you know, okay, there, I, I, I'm getting this house, but, you know, because I bought a tax deed, but isn't there going to be a mortgage on that house? I mean, what's the bank going to do with the mortgage? All right. So the bank made the rules and the state made the rule that if the property goes to auction, they've got to clean everything off of the property. But that, I mean, get all the liens off it because they want to sell it. So the county has more power than the bank. So the county will say, we're going to sell this property. And when they do that, uh, and I'm spe speaking to the choir, I know that, but for all of you in the audience, in this country, we run, we have rules, at least we did have you know, pr prior to last November. And the rules are that if you do something wrong, then you're going to have 
someone give you a notice. That's called due process. Now, I'm not going to quote that. I'm not an attorney, but okay, let's do it. So the bank will get a notice from the county. We're going to sell this property at auction. So the bank can stop the auction in a second. All they have to do is go in and pay the taxes. And then the county will give them the property. Well, the banks, they're not very well run. So sometimes the mail comes in and it's a certified notice because you can go to the file and you can go to the file electronically and turn the page and there's all the notices right there. You can see them. So the bank is noticed from the county. That's called due process. They get at least three. I've seen as many as eight notices. If the bank doesn't show up, they lose their money. Wow. All the county wants, we just want our money. We don't want the property. The county does not want property. They get the roads, they get the schools, they get the parks, they got everything they want. They don't want this property. So they say to the bank, if you want this property, come in and pay the tax, it's yours. And does that happen a lot? The banks usually no, do? No, the, bank, no, the banks don't. The, uh, half, half of the banks, well, uh, the problem is at the bank, they have a lot of people, they send over from the college to work. What does it say? It's a certified letter. Well, you know what a certified letter is, and I know what a certified letter is. We don't necessarily like getting them, as a matter of fact. When that girl gets it, she just puts it in the drawer. Who cares? Yeah. Yes? Okay. It's happening happen every day? All right. Every day. All right. So the county will give at least three of those notes, and there's no file, and you can access the file electronically. There's no file that won't have all of those in it. You'll see it. Amazing, huh? Amazing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so so that uh, that's uh, how the business works. Well, I don't, I'm finding this to be completely fascinating, terrific uh, kind of business. So I, I, I'm sure other people are going to want to learn more about this also. So uh, we're going to send another video out uh, tomorrow. That'll be our last video, but it's all leading up to a one day class that you're going to be teaching on. I think it's what January 22nd. Is that right? Yeah, it's a Saturday, and it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. And we'll go to five o'clock in the afternoon. You can eat on the class. You can go to the bathroom on the class. It's a virtual class so that we can give you way more information and not have spent a lot of money. In the good old days, folks, we'd fly to Dallas or we'd fly to Washington, you know, and sit in Seattle doing a class. Nowadays, we can do it all online right here from my studio. And we just be able to cut the price. It's 47 bucks for six hours. You'll, you'll just be fascinated what takes place in that six hours. Wow, that's great. So how do people sign up for the class? Yeah, when we, when we finish, when, the video will go blank here in a second. Right below me would be a registration form. You can fill out that registration and do it all online and uh, you'll be registered and we'll respond back that you're registered and what have you. We're, we're glad to have you. There'll be about 150 people on the class. There'll be two or three other people beside myself just to answer questions because I don't stop. I do questions now to let you know about it. But once we start a class, I do the class, but there's always two people in the background to answer questions for it. Nobody else would do that, but we have a whole team of people here that can help you do that. So here we go. All right. Sounds like it's going to be a great class, and uh, we'll send out one more video coming up, and that'll be tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned, folks, and we'll, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Okay.